What's up, PVO squad? It's your boy, Super Sun, and I am back again with another video. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're about to do some comparison to these calipers I got from Amazon compared to the Cobra calipers I got from LMR. So if you haven't seen the previous videos of the front Cobra, uh, front Cobra calipers, uh, t they just not fitting right. Like the pin that normally sticks in to stop the caliper part from sliding out it didn't fit so honestly i don't know what the reason is but i knew in order to get the uh brakes right i needed to just stop being cheap and get the correct cobra calipers from lmr which i should have done in the first place but hey you live and you learn lesson learned so yeah the brakes are there but there's supposed to be a pin that goes right there but as you can see it's not lining up so what that's doing is that's causing the caliper to move well can't move right now but yeah it's causing causing the caliper to move and the other day when i drove it around the block after putting everything on i noticed the caliper was literally riding on the inside of the rim so that's why i haven't driven the car anymore since then so y'all know i ordered the uh regular cobra calipers bear from lmr and they came in so hey all we gonna pretty much do is take the calipers off of the capri do a quick comparison and then we go throw the new calipers on so this is what this is the new caliper and what it looks like and i'm gonna show you the pin that i couldn't get to work on the caliper i got from amazon so as you see where is it right here that pin it literally stops the brake pad and the top caliper from coming off. And that's what I was missing. So, hey, let's go out there, do the comparison, and then let's slap these bad boys on. And they also came with more crush washers and uh, hardware and everything too so i don't have to reuse anything oh yeah and i'm uh you guys are probably saying well why are you putting the calipers on raw, in its raw form instead of getting them painted red or something because i have a color scheme that i'm doing with the capri and i am not letting you guys know the color scheme i'm doing until the car is like all right less we are officially hitting the streets once the car is efi swapped that's when you guys will know the color scheme on the mercury capri so yeah but right now hey everything gray the calipers the wheels the car everything just blends together right now I posted, uh, I posted this car on a Fox Body page and a Mercury Capri page on Facebook and everybody is loving the patina look, which I love it also, but eventually the car will get sprayed again. But for now, you better believe I'm rocking this patina look. I'm not go clear coated or anything. I'm leaving it alone as it is. I'm not doing nothing to the paint. I do need to fix the rear right quarter panel because y'all know that uh, it has Bondo on it. So I need to knock all that down to see what's underneath it to see if we need to replace it or if we could repair it. But other than that, the body is pretty much, the body is good. All right, enough with the jambling and jibbling and talking. Let's uh, get to jacking this car up, get the front wheels off and 
next time i see y'all the passenger side caliper will be off and we go do some comparison peace all righty pvl squad you see i was able to just pull the top of the caliper off and push it back on and that's what it was doing just pull it right off because the pin they sent me that came with the brake pads were too big it was way bigger than this one way bigger than this one so let's go ahead take this off now i know i'm gonna lose some brake fluid but that's okay you got that bolt in the back once you take that off it's gonna leak but it's all right so yeah let's take it off all righty pvo squad so calipers are off and first thing i do notice is that this is the sve one from lmr this is from amazon the lmr one stands taller than the amazon one Ah, but as far as everything else you see, maybe it was just me. Maybe I put them on wrong. Now, this came from LMR already put together. The inside caliper is right there. Maybe, maybe I put it on wrong, and that's why I couldn't get it to work. Because this is on the outside, so the inner are supposed to have two two snitches and on the inside of that one it's one on, on the outside it has two hey maybe it was just me i don't even know but losing brake fluid as we speak so let's go ahead and put the new bracket on and put the new caliper on and we go go from there all righty pvo squad after a little bit of fighting and maneuvering putting on the right brackets we finally got the caliper on there yes sir all righty so now it's time to grab the driver's side go over there and do the same thing but at least i know what i'm doing at least i know what i'm doing because this right here, getting this pin in here, how you got to squeeze it just to get it enough to go through so nothing lock out and type out. Oh, man. Yeah. It was a pain in the butt. But we got it. Let's go to the pass, uh, driver's side. Do it all over again. And while I'm over here, I'm going to adjust the uh, toe on this side. Because I noticed on the passenger side, the toe is actually facing in. So I'm going to just give this a quick turn or two. And then we go jump to the uh, driver's side all righty pvo squad i know what i did i messed up and this side of the bracket should be up here like that but instead that side of the bracket is down there and that's why i'm unable to use these calipers but hey i just got some extra cobra calipers now that i know how to properly mount them and everything so literally just gotta take the two shots back there off take off the brake line and hey go from there and the front calipers are done but yeah my fault oh well you live and you learn it's a lesson at least i know for the next one i've also been uh considering putting uh cobra calipers on start instead of using the ats brakes because i know with the ats brakes you are very limited to what wheels you can run due to how big those calipers are so i might just have these calipers sitting around for star and once i order the coilovers and get the rear end built then i'll just put these cobras on there and just have the ats brakes sitting around or i may just sell them I don't know, but yeah, it was my fault. Hey, never done it before. All right, so once I took off the original calipers, that was the Amazon calipers, everything lines up. I had the brackets mixed up and that's why I wasn't able to uh, fit the little, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it a locking tab. I wasn't able to fit the little lock in there 
to stop them from folding up. I had, I had them switch. So with that being said, I am going to run those calipers on star and the ATS brakes will be for sale. Uh, I have everything with it, literally just ready to bolt up brake lines, literally everything. But I can't believe I did that. But at the same time, this is my first time running Cobra brakes. Normally I just uh, run PBR and that's pretty much plain and simple. You can't mix it up. But these, you definitely can. Confirmed it is an exhaust leak from the header on the passage on the driver's side. That's why you hear the ticking. I also found a, a stock automatic transmission for this car. Uh, I'll be probably picking it up within the next week or two. Uh, bleeding the brakes once Renee hit me back up and we could get the brakes bled. And after that, it's officially, it'll be on the road. It will be on the road. DMV appointment next week. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to get back on the road. Yes, sir. are tired of the walk around videos but every time I work on it and I start it up I just I have to do it it's mandatory man thing looks so good and once everything is said and done the new wheels will be uh, put on also I'm gonna ride around on the Cobras for a little bit but the new wheels will get put on once uh, we start driving it and going to shows and car meets and everything so PBO squad, with that being said, I want to say thank you guys for clicking on the video, subscribing to the YouTube channel, and turning on all post notifications so you get notified every time your boy posts a video. I looked last night and I'm at like 1,234 subscribers and we growing daily. When I say that, I really do mean it. But from here on out, it's only going up. No more downfalls, no more backpedaling, no more anything. If it's not gonna help me elevate and get me to where I wanna be and need to be, then I'm not gonna fool with you. I'm not gonna deal with it or anything. So thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you already not, and turn on all post notifications so you get notified every time your boy posts a video. I appreciate you guys more than you know. We gonna continue to grow and go, and you already know, baby, PBO is on the rise. And with that being said, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch me. I'm out, peace.